Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Deb Chanel's Family Fair or Deb Chanel's 48th World with the family as co-host all right we're gonna be talking briefly only briefly because i don't want to tear it too long about phaedra they say and apollo nada wouldn't y'all love to see them get back together i know i know he done been to jail she's kind of suspect of him going to jail and they didn't leave off with the best of divorces. Yes, but that nanny leak, she ain't shit. Now, my whole thing is, that's his fiance, right? The one he had got engaged to when he went to jail. Why haven't they gotten married? Was this all a publicity stunt? Family, get in those comments and dialogue with me about this particular subject. A matter we talking about. Now, you would have thought, hell, you been out of jail for what, three years now? Give or take few months here and there why is he not married now like i said nini ain't she ain't shit because why would you now be friends with phaedra i mean y'all tight like kumbaya buddies and stuff along with ray j on the side why would you have apollo nida's fiance and him up there and you you know taking a good picture of this that and third and i know some people say well they were just damn there taking a picture that don't mean that you right you right you right but i'm nosy i want to go a little further i want to go a little further i want to do a little more digging okay because i believe i know first had 2.8 million okay girl we see you no they look like a nice couple y'all because at first it was rumored that young dylan okay mr president was not apollo's child but as we can see, the eye structure, definitely he looks and favors Phaedra a lot. But I can see a little Apollo in him too. All right, I can see a little Apollo in him too. But them, them bosom buddies, they gonna always get in trouble. Okay, Phaedra's gonna have to watch that one because it looks just like he gonna be getting into a lot of trouble with the girls and not necessarily with the law but you never know <laughs> you never know because paulo and phaedra they ain't got no uh clean pass they ain't got no clean pass they have little infractions here and there and both of them meaning both for paulo and phaedra have had some not favorable interactions with the law i'm just saying i'm keeping it real so we got to keep prayers on that little boy because child i got a chance to meet that little boy with his nanny and aiding at um it was toys r us oh it's been about a couple of years well i don't know it's been seven, about, 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 about seven years ago um i was a uh, store what do you call it department manager and i happened to be checking out people because we needed the uh you know, it, our hands on dick when, you know, got the Christmas rush and stuff of that nature. And, um, had a very nice name. I forget the lady's name. Aiden was just a prize. A prize. He was an upstanding guy. Very polite. Very pleasant. The damn Dylan, man, he was going all the way around that store, uh, chasing things. I'm like, what the hell? These are two different people I'm looking at. Okay. One on favor, Apollo. One on favor, um, Phaedra. But God, that that boy is bad. I mean, you know how you say terrible twos. And I believe he was terrible two, three, four, five, six, seven, eights. Okay. Boy, dealing with something else. But like I said, um, well, I didn't say, but I'm going to say it now. He wasn't rude or anything. But he was just like aggressive, hands on. He going to be a spokesperson. I can just see it in his future. He might even run for me or hell. You know what I'm saying? He just looks like a, politi a politician is what I'm saying. But anyway. 
it just is what it is. Uh, I thought this was a cute little story. And it kind of brought me back in the past of when they were good or on good terms. But then Sage was like, you know, I don't know him. He ain't like the one I used to know and all this stuff. Then she got mad at Todd and Candy for holding out some of his stuff. And, you know, when you're in, when you're in a bad situation, when you're going through a bad divorce, it's all fair love and war. It's all fair love and war. But uh, I believe Candy and Phaedra took it to the next level. Uh, and it, it just is what it is, pretty much. It just is what it is, and don't seem like they're going to be friends no more or any of that. But it just is what it is, okay? <laughs> we can't fix it, only they can fix it with the Lord's help if they want the relationship to be fixed, which at this time, point in time, I don't think they give a shit, neither one of them, okay? But <clears throat> Candy knows she's holding them rain strong at Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> She said, they going to have to put me out. I ain't resigning nothing at no particular time. And I think it's more so fear of the unknown. Because uh, Candy carry a lot of weight on her when it comes to making sure her family, not her immediate family, but I mean her cousins, uh, uncles, nieces, ne all that, okay? Well, I don't think she got no nieces or nephews because... Um, she only had one child. But I'm just saying, the whole gamut of uh, Phaedra's mama's side seems like she's given a lot of opportunity and have given them jobs so they can be good in society and not necessarily have to depend, uh, uh, depend on her every second and every turn and every walk of their lives. So I understand the hesitancy. But I'm like, girl, you better get on out there and get that money. And not just on this uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta platform. You, you, if you got some time to get some other kind of money, you need to jump head first forward into that thing. Because look at Cynthia. Threw her out on her butt. And we just was through with her. She didn't want to take what we wanted to give her as far as her additional role. But back to a friend role uh, type of um we uh, employment with Real Housewives of Atlanta. And at first, I was like, girl, you should have kept that. You should have went on and uh, did that little thing. And not to tell you, I think she could have done it. Uh, but even though it takes six months, I think, out the women's lives. Then have to go uh, do publicity with all the social media outlets for the next four months. So, yeah, they are really kind of tied up when they are on a show such as this. Um, so, because I was like, damn, Cynthia could have did that. Had that check coming in, then she could have went and did some acting like she's definitely diving in too full force. Uh, and that's on her forefront of what she's doing. She, she She's still modeling as well. Doesn't seem like Cynthia aged. Uh, uh, she, it seems like she aged flawless. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, have you drunk from the well of the um, fountain of youth or something? Because she just seems like she just keeps getting younger and younger. But that's probably because she's uh, more relaxed. She don't have to worry about film with a lot of unnecessary people she will probably never sit at a dinner table with let alone go out for a spritz or or outing with them you know what i'm saying but she she seems a little bit at peace and i've been watching her she ain't not my uh she ain't not my peripheral i still got a little contact on her because i want to see what she's doing right now Cynthia is showing up and showing out and she's living her best fifties. You see what I'm saying? Love it, love it, lovely. And then she's getting introduced to um, the Dubai women over there, and they absolutely love her. The uh, main character over there, is Chanel, and the other one is Lisa. And they don't want Phaedra. They they might even boycott this shit if it comes to that. But we already know <clears throat> when Andy Cohen wants something, Andy Cohen gets it. All right. But uh, he should have been putting Cynthia over there with the women. But I don't know if Cynthia would want to go live partially half her year in Dubai and still try to come over here and do what she need to do in the States. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, her home state, California, as well as Georgia. Or where is she? Yeah, she in California. And Georgia, because she still have her Bailey Lake house, and she definitely need to keep it. Even if she never lives in it anymore, just do it a, a, a Airbnb or rent a house out. Cynthia, that's what I'm saying. Don't lose everything like that, girl, because you don't invest it too much, and it has that whole holistic, homopathic a bohemian look i like that i like that a lot cynthia but anyway we're not talking about cynthia i just kind of went off on her but i'm gonna get back to cynthia on another video mr president mr dylan is what we're talking about he is too cute at first he you know 
I know who he looked like at first. But as he keep maturing and getting a little older, he's really looking like Feifei. That's Feifei twin. And Apollo has his twin in Aiden. Okay? I don't see too much of Aiden. Anybody see too much of Aiden? Ain't, it ain't too much getting about Aiden. What is Aiden doing? Are we just showing up one child and don't show the other one? I'm sure that Aiden went to school. Y'all ain't take no pictures of him. Where's that, Faith? Where's that, girl? You need to come stop come with this foolish, fakery, fraudulent, fuckery act attitude when it comes to showing one child and not showing the other one. Hell, you just bought Apollo just for the scene of us getting a glimpse of what Aiden still may look like, girl. You were trying to do the look alike thing. Huh, if you did one for the one, you should have done it for the other. I miss Aiden. I want to see Aiden, too. I want to just see Mr. Dillon running around now, causing and stirring up trouble. But anyway, he gets it honestly. If he ever gets in any time of infraction, he gets it honestly. Look at his mother, then look at his dad, okay? <laughs> but I'm sure it ain't going to be no blue collar crime. It's going to be a white collar crime. You can bet that much. But anyway, that's all I had in this video, guys. Like it, love it. Gotta have more. You know, I will be pumping them out to you as soon as I get to the store. As soon as I get time and, and be able to relax a little bit and bring it to y'all. Because you know I can't do this without y'all. And y'all can't do this without me. Yes, it's freaking frat, tit and tat. Ying and a yang, that's where we act. Look at that. I just did that little ride. Y'all ain't know I can move like that, did you? You ain't know I can move like that. But anyway, I'll see y'all guys next video. And make sure you continue to subscribe, like, share videos of mine, okay, and my daughter's, all right? And the one we do together. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.